Hey, hey, what's up, what's up guys, mga kababayan dyan sa iba't ibang panig ng daigdig. Dito na naman ako, uh, your stockman turnil is uh, live again to bring you some uh, latest charting session on the Philippine stock market. I hope you mga iba dyan ay uh, ano, gising pa at uh, this charting session is unannounced. So, gaya ng sabi ko sa inyo dati ay... Uh, Just uh, find, uh, tune in to my uh, page because I might be coming online to give you my uh, uh, charting analysis on uh, very trending stocks in the Philippine stock market. So, ayan ay uh, umpisa na mag-join yung mga kababayan natin. Diyan si Brad Joseph, uh, Brad Joseph. Randy, Makalinga, oy, <laughs> mga kababayan ko nandito din, uh, nag-join. Alright, so, klaro, Cheryl, uh, one of the subscriber of my stock update. Uh, yo, yung classmate ko, Briton, hello, kumusta ka dyan, Briton? How's life? Joseph, uh, good evening, boss Neil. <laughs> Alright, so, guys, uh, paki-indicate na lang kung saan kayo nag-nonood sa live na to. Kasi this is actually unannounced but uh, I'm really happy to be online again and live and bring you the latest uh, charting analysis brought to you by Stockman Tornillo. Alright, so just sit back and enjoy guys and we will be uh, tackling some uh, trending charts here on the PSC. Alright, so medyo hindi ako nakakapag online uh, in the past guys kasi... Medyo napahaba yung bakasyon ko. One month, I mean, three weeks sa Pilipinas and another one week sa Croatia. So, but now I am back again. So, I, I, my, my main goal is really to help my kababayans, especially yung mga newbie at mga amateurs na gusto talaga ang uh, matuto sa stock market. And don't worry guys, because your stock mentor Neil is here for you. And there is uh, no more uh, dark rooms. <laughs> so, <laughs> So you don't need to trade in the dark because your mentors like your stock mentor Neil is here to help you out. Right? So okay ba tayo sa ganun guys? So hey, watching from QA. Ano yung QA? Qatar or I don't know. So I don't know what is QA. Maybe it's Qatar. So Santa Cruz Laguna. Wow, mga taga Santa Cruz Laguna. So, batiin ko muna yung makabuhayan natin from uh, Bataan to Sulu. <laughs> from end-to-end -end part ng, <laughs> ng Pilipinas talaga. Ay, Brad Wilson, pa-shout out kay Miss Cathy of Netherlands <laughs> and Ma'am Joy in South Korea. <laughs> Alright, so Miss Cathy, so binabati ka ni <laughs> Brad Wilson from Netherlands daw. Then from Ma'am Joy, kung sino man si Ma'am Joy, ay sa'yo dyan, Ma'am Joy from South Korea. I hope you have already met Mumulan. Yung mga step na dyan ni, ano, ni Idol Nancy. Magaling. Oh, <laughs> siyong boom boom. <laughs> so yes, yeah, okay, from Qatar. Alright, so ayan, ayan. Uh, mga energetic na ngayon yung mga kabayan natin at tuloy na natin to. Alright, so ready na ba kayo guys? Just sit back and enjoy ha. Ah. Then, nunod naman siguro kayo ng, ng animation na Sakuragi. Okay, actually guys, katatapos ko lang ng live session ko kanina with my student from Philippines. So, ito yung charting session namin. Ito yung Bloom and there is no buy signal for Bloom. That is one of the tips for today. So, yeah. So, <clears throat> alright. So, yung takalakain natin guys ay those uh, stocks here that are uh, highly traded in the past so syempre this one is negative so maybe this is about selling off kaya <laughs> kaya marami yung uh, nag trade dito but uh, fundamentally MBT is good kita niyo naman siguro yung latest news about uh, in the Bloomberg or BD, B World Online uh, news about uh, the Philippine market na There is a very uh, known person na nagpa na pumipili ng, ng ng stock na to. So institutional buying MBT. MBT very very fundamentally good stock. It's a battered down stock but if you can check the chart it's really 
really in the support area. So for those who are investing, really highly suggested MVP. Why is it highly suggested by me? Because very easy lang. Because the price is uh, just laying, lying down at the key support level. So na natin guys, ha? Huh? Ayan. So that is the key support level. Once the price is just very close to the key support level, our risk, our stop loss is very easy to identify. So stop loss here, just uh, buy the stock whenever it is hitting this uh, buy zone, the buy zone. The buy zone for me is an area of support wherein it is good to buy and I'm anticipating a bounce. Right, as you can see, volume analysis, marami yung mga nagbebenta. So, maraming mga pula dito. So, and it is reasonable kasi downward move talaga yung ano, MBT. From 110 naging 69, then nag-bounce. Yung bounce niya, umabot sa 10. Sa 10, but it's rejected. So, did not go through. Did not push through. So, I, uh, I'm expecting that the price is still going back to the buy zone. So once it retests the 10 EMA and breaks out, guys, be ready. Mga position traders natin dyan. So remember that we are trading actually a, a fundamentally good stock. And in investing, it's always good to buy a stock which is very much discounted. Very much discounted. So we don't uh, buy a stock, especially fundamentally good stock, when it's already high. We are not doing momentum trading here. So in investing, we just buy the stock at a discounted price compared to its fair value. Uh, if you check the fair value in call, call or video no more, uh, you will see that we have a fair big upsides for Metro Bank. All right, so we don't need to make this uh, very uh, uh, complicated, but take note that uh, your moving average can, 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 can uh, serve us as your take profit point. Whenever there is a rejection of price, in the moving average because uh, nandito kasi tayo, down tayo ngayon. Whenever a uh, rejection of prices in the moving average 10 or 50 or 100, ito yung mga key natin. Uh, 10, uh, 20, 50, and 100 can take profit. Meaning that uh, the price is still not uh, ready to, to break out. Especially prices, I mean, uh, if the volume is still low. So, ibig sabihin that the buyers are still not enough big, not not na, not enough high to break out from resistances. So, reposition na lang sa support area, then buy again. What is important here is that we have a low risk. Because, uh, firstly, we are trading a fundamentally good stock. We are investing. We are thinking of, uh, so for those naman na thinking of holding the stock minimum one year, for me, I consider it as long-term investing one year or five years, that is also good for this. But take note, the back test, uh, how much time did uh, every every change in a trend is happening from this point to this, how much, uh, 189 days. That is half a year. Diba? 189 days is half a year. So another half of the year is downtrend. Ito naman, that is 455 days. So that is one year in uptrend. Ngayon naman, possible the one year naman yung downtrend. So basic, maybe the MBT will be staying here at this uh, level until the end of this year. But the next year might be a uh, trend reversal. So take note of those uh, behaviors, guys. Ah. Guys, ah. sabi nga ni ano, si Frix, uh, we need to know the DNA. Ano ba yung karakteristik ng sang stock na to? Halimbawa ito, pagkatapos ng 200 days, downtrend naman. Down, uh, rally ng 200 days, uh, ito, uh, rally ng uh, how many days? Okay, hindi ko makita. From this to this, 448, that is one year. So, one year usually or half year, ito naman down ng almost one year din. So, one year... Itong, itong uh, MBT is already down for almost one year. Kaya expect, bantay-bantay uh, lang tayo guys ha. Kasi baka 
uh, anytime soon MBT will reverse. I'm not saying that tomorrow it will reverse. We need uh, some time, guys. So once we can break out from 10, uh, we can uh, wait again naman na uh, matest itong 50. So of course, uh, one of the DNA of uh, ano, uh, MBT is to test, uh, retrace, retest, break out. And may kita mo naman dito sa ano sa chart, di ba ito? Ito, test, uh, false breakout, retest, breakout. Ayan, so retrace back to the 10 EMA, 10 EMA, then bounce. Ayun, so very important guys ang pagbabak test. Alright, so that is one MBT. Alright, so maraming nag-join dito ngayon. Uh, Sunday na Sunday. Uh, I'm sure that uh, makababayan natin ay naghahanda para sa next trading week. Excited na siguro. Ano ba yung mga stock na na-excite kayo guys? b Core, Now ba? Or MRC? PXP? So si Brad Johnson, nabanggit niya yung Mark. Mark, alright. So never uh, analyze uh, chart for Mark but Let's check kung ano ba yung makikita natin dito kay Mark. Mark, baka walang stock na Mark ha. <laughs> Mark Adventures, Mark Ventures Holdings. Alright, let's check that guys. So Mark, basically, uh, what's the situation now? You know. So let's check first the big picture. So big, big picture is very important for me guys. Kasi may kita ko dito kung ano ba yung galawan niya. Galawan niya. So, yan o. Oh, spike. Boom. Down ng uh, napakahabang panahon. Spike again. Down. Marahil ay down ito ng napakahabang panahon. So, ito. Down ng napakahabang panahon. Spike. Then down. Natulog siya ng mahaba. Spike. So, ganyan yung behavior niya guys. So, right now. Uh, at the one week chart. The price is below that. 150 uh, 150 moving average but it's already retesting uh, the 50 EMA so tingnan naman natin yung one day chart let's check ano ba yung ano natin dito so we have here the key, key support level here as you can see uh, dito yun na test na niya yung uh, 100, 100 uh, moving average yun nag rally right now uh, the 100 uh, moving average is under the faster moving average na 10 and 50 this is actually satisfying the uh, alignment of star on this uh, region only however after some spike of price next sell off so you can uh, just remember that behavior ah, na kapag nag-spike siya, yun, nagsisell off. So, talagang ano to, uh, very volatile. Mapapansin mo rin na volatile siya dahil sa matataas na wicks dito. So, talagang pag nag-spike siya, nagsisell off siya. So, right now, the price is currently at the support, the main support area. So, might be a good position to, to put. However, I want to be putting position unless I see that it's uh, breaking out from this uh, 10 EMA. So, of course, yung mga bottom pickers naman, maganda rin kasi maganda rin position kung yan man strategy niyo mag, mag bottom picker. But just make sure to get out if uh, the price is moving below 1.37. So, I would get out already. Baka kasi magtuloy-tuloy pa yan. Akala mo na ano na yan, rock bottom, pero hindi pa pala. Na, ano pala yan, second floor na nag-collapse at mayroon pa palang first floor sa baba. So, take note guys ha. Uh, even if we consider it as a main support level, doesn't mean that that is the rock bottom. Right, so take profit points natin are this uh, resistances here. That's one. It can be here as well. Sure. So support and resistance lang guys. No need to make it complicated. So yan. 
So, mas maganda pag mag-break out sa 100 MA, that is very good. This is first take profit point. This is the second take profit point. Right. So, ano pa? May mga ano pa ba mga request dyan? So, ayun. T. Ano ba yung T? T, boss. Uh, huh. Hindi ko alam yung T, ah. Uh, right. So, tingnan natin ano ba yung T na yan. Maroon bang T? Wala. <laughs> Walang T, ah. Huh? Alright. So, Ayun, GFC. Si GFC naman. Tingnan natin si GFC. Ano ba yung situation niya yun? Di ano, di uh, ang bansang babuyog. Alright, so GFC ah. Jollibee Food Corporation. Alright, so ayos ah. So, nakikita mo the, the 100 MA is already diving. This uh, faster EMA. And it is a good indication na uh, the trend is uh, reversing from downtrend. This was the downtrend and now it's reversing. And may kita nyo naman na uh, it's already creating a higher high, higher low. So one definition of, uh, of uh, uptrend is uh, the creation of higher high and higher low. Higher high and higher low. So, saan maganda bumili kay GFC? Just follow the trend. I will, I suggest that to follow this 10 EMA. Maganda dyan po musisyon. Titingnan nyo, mahaba yung weeks. So, but the candles are showing to us that it's closing the topmost part of the candle which indicates bullishness. So, the price wants to move higher. So, ayan. So, since uh, it's already here, Try to try to wait for a pullback on this uh, level, uh, 278 to 281. But if it is breaking out from this uh, resistance, it's also good. So buying at breakout. So when you buy at breakout, always check volume. Kailangan above average yung volume. If the volume is below average, forget about it. Always buy when the price is pulling back to the 10 EMA or the so in this situation it just uh, broke out from the 10 EMA and 50 you can see na 10 EMA yung nire respect niya but uh, if you buy here and it, it happens that it's still going below the 50 then it's also good to buy so I won't exit why because uh, I'm trading a fundamentally good stock we don't know that it's really the support the main support na ire respect ni GFC it can be this one as well. So I would still be buying. But if it is going below the 50 MA, I would exit. So that is my uh, simple strategy, especially for this uh, kind of uh, fundamentally good stock. However, uh, if I am trading with a different kind of stock, which is not fundamentally good, so mga basura, and I am applying this trend following, I would be very, very conservative. So if the price is going below 10 EMA, I would exit. The closing below 10 EMA, I would exit. And I will, buy, I will buy only if it is now above 10 EMA. That's very simple strategy. No naman yung magiging uh, target profit natin. So dito sa previous side. So 304. But uh, this kind of, uh, of, uh, of uh, trend pattern, it's possible that the 304 will be broken. But if it is not broken, the, pr the price is still rejected you then you may take profit, right? But uh, GFC has still that uh, possibility to, to, to move higher because uh, it has a really uh, uh, good fundamentals and uh, malayo pa yung maabot ni, ni GFC. So tingnan nyo naman yung trend niya. So if I uh, extend this and this one, Okay, so this one, this, so this, these are the diagonal supports na pwedeng uh, bagsakan ni, ni, ni GFC. So right now we are in the middle of that uh, move. So it can either hit this and retrace, retrace rejection. 
if the price rejection happens, take profit. If it is breaking out, hold on, and the next take profit is this, the top of this, uh, or ceiling of this uh, upper trend line. Or you may use also Fibonacci retracement. Alright, so ayan, nandito pa yung mga kababayan natin at nanonood ng aking live session uh, unannounced but uh, tumatangkilik pa rin yung mga kababayan natin. So, thank you guys for, for coming online and I mean uh, watching my live session, charting session, stock mentor new. I hope everybody is happy. So, there is still another request, Ori. Uh, this might be the last one. So, alright. So, let's check Ori very fast. So, Ori is, I think, a momentum trading stock. So, but... Uh, this is not a um, 52 week high nor 24 week high. So, because this is not a momentum uh, truck stop, then I would uh, uh, another possibility is to do swing trade. So, ayan. So, let's uh, define first what is the support and resistances on this chart. All right. So, let's convert. Let me convert first to the line graph. Right, so that is resistance. So let me do the night mode. Okay, so napakalilim naman ng night mode nito. So ayan. Ito, resistance. Yeah, let's just put this as a resistance. Resistance. I mean support. Resistance, so these are support. And the main support. Alright, so ano ba yung situation yun ni Ore? <clears throat> Let me evaluate. Ore right now is above the 10 EMA. That is good. Above 50 EMA and above 100 EMA. Uh, 100 EMA. That is very, very good. So, if I would draw a buy zone, I will just draw it here, just above my 10 EMA. So, I will be buying, but if I want to. And these uh, are my target profit points. My stop loss will be just below the 10 EMA. If the price is going uh, closing below the 10 EMA, I would exit. But I need to buy when the price is just here. Para yung risk is just very low, minimal. So maybe here. So 4% or 3 to 4% or 3 to 5 percent na risk I think that's fine considering that we have a reward of uh, uh, 4.7 I mean this this might be not a good take profit point because one is to one yung ano niya, risk reward but this one or this one are really good take profit points so one is to three minimum na risk reward ratio meaning that uh, you risk one point but your rewards are three points. <clears throat> All right. So, tingnan naman natin yung MACD. What is the situation with the MACD? All right. MACD is uh, above the zero. That is very good. What about volume? Yun. Maraming bumili dito at uh, this price. So, yan. There was some uh, profit taking but low volume. Ito, nag profit take siya dito above average significant but uh, the next day it opened higher so okay so i would really just uh, buy just here I say why because it is uh, uh, allowing to have a, a minimal risk so on the candle this one is just indicating that the sellers are there to push price lower it did not this candle did not open at the top 25 percent of the range of this candle so that is my one of my buying indicator if the candle is closing above the top 25 percent of the range of the candle so this one is not so this is not a buying signal for me so i will wait here wait for that uh, candle to form which is forming uh, top 25 percent from its range so these are take profit points so no buy signal yet wait until it pull back right so that is all right so ayun guys so for now this is it 
kasi I will still be preparing for my weekly stock update analysis na i-release ko naman sa aking private Facebook group. So for those naman na gusto maging part ng aking group and to receive my weekly stock updates, mga recommended stocks ko for this coming week trading, eh, that's just a right na message. Usually mga stocks ko na pinipili are those for momentum trading, for swing trading, those for position trading, midterm investing, and long-term investing. So all in one, nandiyan na for a very, very affordable price of only 1,000 pesos and valid na yan for four months. Huh? Imagine, guys, the value of what you can get from what you, you just pay a very little amount. And actually, it's just for my coffee. <laughs> so, but my purpose, my goal is really to help you out, help my kababayans, especially mga nag-aaral pala, mga newbie at mga amateurs. Kasi I know how it feels, how, what is the situation of being a newbie. And it's really not good to be burning uh, money uh, when you are still practicing. You really need some mentor to help you out. Somehow, you are guided. All right? So, guiding newbies is not, uh, for me, it's not about spoon feeding what stocks to buy, but it's also about uh, teaching uh, the strategy that I am uh, uh, doing. And I am explaining the chart that I am uh, recommending to buy then why is it it's buy right so thank you very much guys uh, for coming here to watch my online session and god bless you all so for those the man uh, interested to my one-on-one -on -one session or my uh, recorded session just let me know and uh, we can talk about it i can send more details god bless to you all guys and uh, uh, have a nice trading week